I welcome you to my presentation on types of research. I am Dr. Diksha Shetty, reader in the Department of Public Health Dentistry, MGM Dental College and Hospital, Navi Mumbai. According to Oxford Dictionary, research is a detailed and careful study of something to find out more information about it. Research is a cornerstone of human progress. It is essential for addressing current challenges and preparing for the future. According to Health Research Methodology WHO, research is a quest for knowledge through diligent search or investigation or experimentation aimed at the discovery and interpretation of new knowledge. Coming to the purpose of research, research is needed for advancing knowledge. It helps address complex problems and challenges across various domains. It fosters innovation, quality improvement across various fields, evidence-based decision making in health and medicine, for environmental sustainability, for education, cultural preservation, to meet global challenges like poverty, hunger and infectious diseases, personal growth, scientific and technological progress and global collaboration. Now coming to the types of research. Research can be mainly classified as basic and applied research, quantitative and qualitative research and theoretical and empirical research. Now coming to basic and applied research, firstly basic also called as pure or fundamental research. Research is conducted without a basic purpose in mind. The main purpose of basic research is only to increase the knowledge and test the theory on a particular subject and not to solve the problem. Example, Newton's theory of gravity. Apple falling down was a normal situation until Sir Isaac Newton explained the force of gravity of the earth attracted the apple towards the ground. Over here, he generated new knowledge that force causes the apple to accelerate downwards until it reaches the ground. Applied research. Research directed towards the solution of a particular problem. Example, development of vaccine to treat AIDS. Next, quantitative and qualitative research. Quantitative or numeric research. Data is collected in numeric form. The calculation and analysis of data is done numerically. Usually, we need a large sample. For example, height of males and females in Indian population or number of decayed missing filled teeth that is DMFT index in 5 year old. Quantitative research can be further classified as non-experimental and experimental. Non-experimental has exploratory, descriptive, comparative and correlational research. Coming to qualitative research, used in social science and behavioral science, we need a smaller focused sample, mainly studies human behavior and the reasons that governs a particular behavior. Example, attitudes of people towards vaccination program. Theoretical and empirical research. Theoretical research is focused on developing new concepts or refining existing theories, models or frameworks to explain a phenomenon. It often does not involve direct data collection. Empirical research. Empirical research is a research based on experiment or observation. Theoretical and empirical research complement each other because generally theoretical research are analyzed by experiments and at times new theories are developed as a result of the experiment. There is another concept called as health research triangle 
which is a combination of biomedical, behavioral and health service research. Coming to health research triangle, biomedical research involves biological processes at the cellular level. Health service research includes influence of environment on the cellular level and behavioral research is the interaction of man with the environment reflecting the beliefs, attitudes and practices of individuals on the society. In summary, research is needed for adding new knowledge. The types of research includes basic and applied research, qualitative and quantitative research and theoretical and empirical research. Health research triangle contains biomedical, behavioral and health service research. Thank you.